Trigeminal Neuralgia Introduction The third division, known as V3, provides feeling to the area of the jaw, the lower lip, and gum. Select true or false. Correct. Does trigeminal neuralgia always cause a continuous dull ache in the face? Select yes or no. Correct. The pain of trigeminal neuralgia is typically very severe. Each episode usually lasts a few seconds only. However, patients could have many episodes an hour or day. Is surgery the only option available for trigeminal neuralgia patients? Select yes or no. Correct. Use of medications is the preferred way to treat trigeminal neuralgia. However, if patients do not respond to the medications or cannot tolerate them, surgical treatments could be considered. Ablative procedures result in numbness in the face. Select true or false. Correct. Ablative procedures result in numbness in the face. Depending on which procedure is used, the numbness could be permanent or temporary. Are strokes and heart attacks common during and after this operation? Select yes or no. Correct. Anesthesia is now very safe. However, the older you are and the more medical problems you have, the higher the risks. You should make your anesthesiologist aware of any medical problems you have had in the past, such as strokes and lung problems. Blood clots in the legs after an operation are harmless. Select true or false. Correct. Blood clots in the legs are very dangerous, even though they are unlikely to happen. The symptoms may include swelling of the leg, shortness of breath, and chest pain. In extremely rare cases, a blood clot can go to the lungs and cause death without giving any other symptom. Are infections very common after surgery? Select yes or no. Correct. Infections are very rare. Though rare, infections as well as bleeding and scarring may occur. The operation is always successful. Select true or false. Correct. The operation may not be successful and another one may have to be done. Numbness of the face is usually tolerated by the patient. Select true or false. Correct. The numbness is usually very well tolerated. However, conditions such as corneal abrasions or anesthesia dolorosa may occur and the patient should be very careful not to injure him or herself. The microvascular decompression operation done from the back of the head is relatively safe. Select true or false. Correct. This operation is very safe with good results. However, death, strokes, blood clots in the brain, hearing loss, and other complications are possible. Thank you for using Explain.